Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the pharmacology of phenobarbital and primodone. These two are anti-ecoleptic drugs. Let's start with phenobarbital. Phenobarbital is the oldest anti-epileptic drug. It inhibits the spread of seizure in the brain and increases the threshold of seizure. What is the mechanism of action of phenobarbital? The exact mechanism is not known. The possible mechanisms are as follows, like phenobarbital, potentiate the action of GABA-related neurons in the brain, GABA stands for gamma amino butyric acid. This is an inhibitory neurotransmitter in the brain and spinal cord. It prolongs the opening of the chloride channel. It blocks some of the calcium current and also blocks the voltage gated sodium channels. It inhibits glutamate mediated excitation. Okay, so how are the absorption and fate of phenobarbital? It is well absorbed orally and can cross the blood brain barrier freely. We know that a lot of drug cannot go through the blood brain barrier, the tight junction between the endothelial cell of the brain blood vessel <coughs> and the food process of the astrocyte, but phenobarbital can easily go to the brain because it can cross the blood-brain barrier. About three-fourths of the administered drug is metabolized in the liver, microsomal system, and the remaining one-fourth is excreted unchanged by the kidney. So 75% of the administered drug is metabolized by the liver, microsomal system, 25% of the drug, drug means phenobarbital, is excreted unchanged by the kidney. Phenobarbital is a potent inducer of cytochrome O P450 system and it enhances the metabolism of many drugs. So, therapeutic uses of phenobarbital. Its use has been limited nowadays because we have a lot of other anti-epileptic drugs with good efficacy and less side effects. Okay, but still it is used in the management of epilepsy for recurrent tonic-clonic seizures and maintenance of control of status epilepticus. Simple partial seizure partly effective, not totally effective, phenobarbital, recurrent seizure in children, including febrile seizure. But the prophylaxis with phenobarbital is not practiced nowadays. It was practiced in 1980s to use phenobarbital for a child who has history or infant has history of febrile convulsion. It is not no more use nowadays. Okay. Recurrent seizure in children, including febrile seizure, but not for prophylaxis, can be used as a mild sedative to relieve anxiety, tension, and insomnia to, to treat drug induced seizure. Suppose theophylline. Theophylline was an old anti asthmatic bronchodilator drug, but it could cause seizure that is managed by phenobarbital. Management of withdrawal of ethanol and other sedative hypnotic drugs that is also managed by phenobarbital. Okay. Adverse effects. Central nervous system depression in, in mega dose or big dose of the medication. It may cause coma, respiratory depression, 
sedation, ataxia, and nystagma. There is the involuntary oscillatory movement of the eyeball, vertigo, nausea, vomiting. More belief from rust, usually seen in many drug adverse effects on the skin. More belief from rust in sensitive patient, intermittent porphyria due to abnormal metabolism of the hemoglobin, agitation, confusion in high doses, acute psychotic reaction that may happen. Okay, tolerance develop to chronic use, sudden discontinuation of phenobarbital <coughs> may cause rebound seizures. So any anti-seizure drug should be withdrawn gradually, not suddenly. Use in pregnancy, FDA, Food and Drug Administration of the United States, category 4 drug disease. This is not contraindicated during pregnancy, but precautions should be taken. If possible, it should be avoided during pregnancy by the pregnant mom because there is possible fetal risk like hemorrhage due to lack of vitamin K deficiency, neonatal sedation, and neonatal withdrawal syndrome that may happen if the mom took phenobarbital continuously in in her pregnancy then there may be some adverse effect like that but that is not a contraindication for its use if it is essential okay now we'll go to the primidone primidone, in, primidone is an anti-convulsant structurally related to phenobarbital so this is a pro drug it is an alternative for simple and complex partial seizures and tonic-tronic seizures. Primidone metabolites, which are inactive metabolites, are primidone metabolites are not inactive, are phenobarbital and phenyl ethyl melonamide have longer half-lives than parent drug so this is particularly useful for the complex partial seizure this will work in other type of seizures so primidine not primodine okay let me try here make it correct primidine okay primidine Primidine is often used with other antiepileptic drugs so that like carbamazine, carbamazepine, phenytoin. In that condition, carbamazepine, phenytoin, those may be decreased. It should be decreased to avoid the adverse effects. So this may be used with other antiepileptic drug and the doses of other antiepileptic drug may be decreased. Primidone is oil absorbed, oral, oil absorbed orally and exhibit poor protein binding. Adverse effects are like that of phenobarbital. So primidone is an anticonvulsant, almost like that of phenobarbital. This is a prodrug. It will be metabolized into two part phenobarbital and phenyl ethyl melonamide. Okay. And it is often used with other antiepileptic drugs. And that's all about the two, two drugs. One is the phenobarbital and another is primodone. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel. Please subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye now.